for Mrs. Stevens? Oh, yes, that's the shirt I bought my husband. Thank you. COD, $2.70. Oh, of course. Come on in, I'll get you the money. Uh, I don't think I've got enough. Oh, Beverly, have you got any money? I'll look. Yeah. $1.57. All I've got is 40 cents. Dollar fifty-seven and five. It's a dollar ninety. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd leave the package, and I could send them a check. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Stevens, but the store has very strict rules. Well, Bev, I guess we've got to go to the vault for the money. Looks like it. See you now. Half a dollar. Good. I've got a dime. I'll try the easy chair. <laughs> Another ten cents. Oh, fine. Let's see now. Well, that's two dollars and sixty-seven cents. You're still three cents short. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, oh, two sixty-seven and a three-cent stamp. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. You're welcome. Oh, wait a minute. You've given us such nice service, I think you deserve a tip. Airmail. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Goodbye. Thank you. Nice boy. Now let's straighten up the cushions, Dad. Hey, what's this? What's what? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Wait a minute. What are you being so mysterious about? Let me see that paper. Oh, Joan, you oh, don't. God, what is this? Don't forget present and flowers for Anne, July 5th. That's Brad's handwriting. Present and flowers for Anne. Who's Anne? That's what I say. Who's Anne? Who cares? <laughs> now, wait a minute, Beverly. You don't think for one minute that I suspect Brad. Gosh, no, I never said a word. Because I trust Brad without a shadow of a doubt. I have complete faith in him, unshakable faith. Of course you do. Mm. Well, what's the difference who she is? I wouldn't worry about Brad, not for one second. That's the way to look at it, Joni. Big deal, he's home. Hiya, honey. Hello, Brad. Boy, it's wonderful coming home to a sweet little woman. What's the matter with coming home to your wife? That's what I meant. Boy, I'm starved. How about some dinner? All right, Brad. I don't care what you have, just so you have plenty of it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, what's the matter? I forgot to cook dinner. You forgot to cook dinner? Why, of all the... Well, there's someone at the door. I'll get it. Brad, don't worry about dinner. I'll open up a can of soup. No dinner. Treadwell, what are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you, Judge Stevens. You certainly have a lot of gall coming here. Well, what I have to say is just between you and me. Look, Treadwell, you know I haven't any use for you. Anything that you want to say to me, you can say in front of the committee that's considering your disbarment. Now, be smart, Judge. 
I know you can swing that committee. They'll do anything you say. Well, if that's true, you won't be practicing law in this state after tomorrow. I'm not asking you to do this for nothing. I'll see that you're well taken care of. Now, how about it? Get out of here, you cheap crook. Oh, playing the big honest judge, huh? Get out of here. OK, I asked you to cooperate, and I was nice about it. But remember, I can get nasty, too. Make up your own mind, Treadwell. Are you getting out of here on your own steam, or do you want some help? OK, Stevens. Just remember, I warned you. Chiseling lawyer coming to my house. And, ah, vegetable soup. Julie, it's cold. You got to eat it. Julie, how can you forget? I tell you, it's just bread. How would you like a nice, big, thick, juicy steak? A steak? With mushrooms and Lyonnaise potatoes. Oh, that sounds great. I knew you were kidding about not having dinner. Where is it? At the restaurant. Well, sir, they, they don't care what kind of a husband you are. Oh, okay. Forgetting to have dinner. Joni, if you can't remember anything, why don't you write it down like I do? <laughs> write it down, all right. Everything okay? I just saw Brad leave. Well, of course everything's all right. Beverly, will you please stop suspecting the worst? But I don't suspect. I'm not the least bit jealous, dear. But I didn't say that you. And I'll show you how wrong you are. I'm going to call the florist and let you hear for yourself that Brad did not send those flowers. Briarly Florist? Uh, uh, this is Mrs. Bradley Stevens. <laughs> My husband and I are having a little argument. Uh, did he send any flowers out on uh, July 5th? Let me see, Stevens. Stevens. Yes, he did. $20 worth of rhododendrons. He did? Thank you. And I have his note right here. It's a standing order. Send flowers to Joan Stevens every July 5th for his an. Oh, his anniversary, that is. It's an abbreviation, of course. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Stevens? He sent them. He sent the flowers. Oh, Joni, I'm sure there must be some mistake. You know Brad would never do a thing like that. Oh, no, no. The girl told me herself. He sent the flowers. And to make it even worse, the flowers he sent were my favorites. Rhoda Dededros. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hiya, honey. Honey. <laughs> Joan, uh, what's the matter? Look, Brad. Yes, dear? I I've always trusted you, haven't I? Y yes, you have. Completely. To the hilt. No matter how bad things looked, I always trusted you. That's right. And I want you to know that I trust you now. I'm glad to hear that. Completely. Good. So explain this, you two-time and cheat. <laughs> two-time and cheat? Don't forget present and flowers for Anne? I suppose you're going to tell me that that's not your handwriting. No, it's, it's my handwriting. Who is Anne? I, I, I don't know, Joan. I, I admit I, I wrote it, but, but I don't know anyone named Anne. I, I never sent any flowers to anyone named Anne. I never bought a present for anyone named Anne. Do you believe me? Yes, I do, Brad. I believe you're sincere. Thank you. What was the name of the girl you bought the flowers for? Oh. Anne, well, who can that be? What can it mean? Hello, Mr. Stevens. Hello, Tom. Um, Hi, Tom. Howdy, Bev. Hello, Beverly. Where are you going? Uh, Tom's taking me to... Anniversary! Nope, you're wrong. It's the Kappa Sigma dance. No, no, no I mean, uh, it's the silly note. <laughs> Anne stands for anniversary. It was an abbreviation. Then the present and the flowers you brought were for Joni herself? That's right. And she had the nerve to be angry with me. Oh, boy, that's really biting the hand that feeds you. Right up to the elbow. But Joni will sure be happy to hear it. Why don't you go in and tell her? Yes, I... No, I'm not going to. Not yet, anyway. Brad, you can't torture her like that. I'll teach her not to trust me. You don't have to. She's pretty good at it already. <laughs> no. 
Joan doesn't trust me, she's probably listening in on the extension. Oh, uh, Tom, will, will you do me a favor? Well, we're on our uh, way just, to the... Just take a minute. Now, uh, Tom, I want you to go to a phone booth and call the McGillner Theatrical Agency, see? Ed McGillner's an old friend of mine, and tell him to send over an actress who pretend that her name is Anne. Brad, you couldn't. Oh, ho, ho, couldn't I? Since I'm already guilty in Joan's mind, I might as well give her a little more evidence. I'll let her think there really is an Anne. But Judge Stevens... No, no, don't worry, Tom. It's just a joke. We men have got to stick together. And you tell Ed to make sure that Anne is gorgeous, glamorous, and friendly. <laughs> Very friendly. Tom, as the fowler says, if you've got the name, <laughs> you might as well have the game. Well, I'm glad I'm not going to be a spectator. Something tells me this game is going to get pretty rough. Come on, Tom. Yes, but are you sure Mr. McGillner isn't back yet? Of course I'm sure. Are you the fellow that's been calling up for the last hour? Yes, and it's very important that I get a hold of Mr. McGillner. I'm supposed to hire an actress, and it's got to be done soon. Look, I just clean up here. But Mr. McGillner ought to be back soon. Never took so long for dinner before that I could remember. Okay, I'll try again in a little while. Come on, Bev, let's go. Wait a minute, Tom. Give me a dime. I forgot to call Mary. Hello. Hello, Joan. This is Beverly. But don't mention my name if Brad is there. What's up? Well, I wasn't supposed to say anything, and I can't talk too loud because Tom's here. But Brad's playing a dirty trick on you. That note you found, you know, about the present for Anne? It meant present for anniversary. It was for you. The present and the flowers were for you. Oh, boy, I can't tell you what a relief that is. Uh, what's a relief? Uh, taking off this tight shoe, my feet are killing me, Brad. Now listen, Joan, there's more. Brad's angry at you for suspecting him, so he's having Ed McGillner send over an actress. She's supposed to make love to Brad, so you'll be jealous. Oh, it's all perfectly clear to me now. Oh, well, of course, Mrs. Hawkhauser. <laughs> uh, yes, I'll be right over. Joan, you're not, you're, you're not leaving. Well, I have to. It's Mrs. Hawkhauser. She fell down two flights of stairs. Well, who the dickens is Mrs. Hawkhauser? Why does she need you? Why didn't you get her husband? He's the one who pushed her down the stairs. Uh, goodbye, Brad. Joan, go here. I know. How much longer are we going to stand here, Mr. Treadwell? I'm getting tired. A week, if necessary. I told you, no matter how long it takes, we're waiting until the judge's wife leaves the house, and then we... Uh-oh. There she goes. Where? Get back here. You want her to see you? Oh, this is perfect. Now you know what you're supposed to do. What do you think I am, an amateur? I've helped you frame a half a dozen guys. I know, I know, but nothing is as important as this is to me. Now what are you going to do? Okay, okay. I set up the delayed action on the camera. Then I throw my arms around the judge, and then we get the pictures to make the judge look like a playboy. Fine. Now get going. Operator, will you give me the telephone number of the Ed McGillner Theatrical Agency? It's on... Never mind. Oh, hello, handsome. Oh, it's you. You're, you're too late. Huh? I was just calling Ed McGillner to tell him to forget about it. What? My wife just left. <laughs> oh, well, that makes everything perfect. <laughs> Doesn't it? Look, you're uh, wasting your time. It won't really be wasted. Well, what good is it? My wife isn't here to see us. Sounds ideal to me. <laughs> Look, Miss Rutter, whatever your name is, I can understand that you're disappointed, but, uh, but don't worry, you'll get paid. And we go there, the ethical agency. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry that it uh, didn't work out, but uh, maybe some other time. Oh, there. but it's so early, we haven't really gotten acquainted. Well, I'm sorry that uh, but, No, there was... Look, I... My wife! My wife! <laughs> Your wife looks like This is better than I expected. Uh, now, come on. Come on. Wonderful. This is... Let's make it look good. Oh, Brad, you should... <laughs> Oh, 
Joan, I, I don't know what to say. Try hello. Well, look, Joni, I, I know what you're thinking, but you're all wrong. This isn't Anne. Hello, Anne. Joan, Helen and I grew up together in Cleveland, didn't we, Helen? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, we did. Well, I, uh, I better be going now. Goodbye, Mrs. Stevens. Oh, you can't go now. Well, I'm sure that you and Brad have a lot of things to discuss. You mean you really want me to stay? Well, of course I do, because any friend of Brad's is certainly a friend of mine. Let's sit right over there. You too, Brad. Well, you probably haven't seen each other, and... Uh, well... What's that? What's what? That red smear. Uh, <clears throat> that's, um, that's... Well, Bradley uh, Stevens, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Joan, I can explain everything. There is no explanation for a thing like that. But, Joan... Well, it's disgraceful. <laughs> getting ketchup all over your clothes. Ketchup? <laughs> that's lipstick. A likely story. Now, why don't you just admit, dear, that you're a sloppy eater? Joan. Come on, dear, go into the kitchen and get the spot remover. The spot remover, but, Joan... Well, and you can't sit in front of Helen or whatever her names are looking like that. Oh. You're a slob. Oh, all right. <laughs> well. Okay, miss, you can stop acting now. I'm on to your little scheme. You mean you... Oh, now, look, Mrs. Stevens, I only did this because now, they told don't me... don't worry. It's okay with me. In fact, I'll even help you. Help me? Oh, now, wait a minute. I'm doing this job for money, but you're his wife. Why do you want to do it? To get even with him. And believe me, he's got it coming. Say, what are you supposed to do? Oh, you know, the usual. I'm supposed to kind of snuggle up to him and throw my arms around him and hug him and kiss him. <laughs> That's terrific. Look, I'll let you in on a little secret. When you kiss him, kiss him behind the ear. Drives him crazy. <laughs> Swell. <laughs> Uh, Joni, will you come here a minute? Uh, yes, dear. Excuse me a moment. Uh, Joan, I can't get this spot off the coat. Well, it's all right. I'll get it out later, dear. Uh, here. Put your dressing gown on. My dressing? <laughs> well, you know how handsome you look in it anyway. Come on, Joni. Oh. There we are. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Trying to be friendly. <laughs> friendly. Friendly. Oh. Okay, Joan, so you guessed it. I admit it. Helen's an actress I hired just to make you jealous. Oh, come now, Brad. I wasn't born yesterday. Hey, you don't have to make up things like that for me. I don't mind. She's your friend. She happens to be affectionate. So enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Be my guest. Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Well, think nothing of it, courtesy of the house. Uh. No, 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 stop that. It, Joan, Joan, will you make her... Cut that out. Joan, she's just an actress. Call Ed McGillner, she's... A... No, 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 stop it. This is going too far. That's what Joan... You're a wild dog. No, uh, yes. so Joan, stop her, stop her. Oh. Here. Oh, a camera, how thoughtful. I thought maybe you'd like to take some pictures. Yeah, would I? These pictures ought to be worth a mink coat. <laughs> What's this, a camera? You put that thing away. Oh, honey, you certainly want a picture of this happy reunion. Sure, you do. Come, no, come on, John. Oh, come on, John. Oh, that's a lovely Come on, now. Another one. Oh, this time, really happy. Really, dear. Very good. Very good. All right, now, shall we have some more? You'll be my slave for life. Oh, stop this, please. Come on, dear. 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 Come
Oh, no. Well, what's wrong? Joan. Well, what? What? Joan, that girl that was here wasn't sent by Edma Gilner. You mean that girl wasn't an actress? No. Well, then, then who, who was she? Joan. Joan, I'm worried. I don't know why, but I'm worried. Now I know why I'm worried. I just dropped in Judge Stevens to thank you for being so nice and friendly to my girlfriend, Millie. Millie? <laughs> the girl with the camera. Camera? Treadwell, what are you going to do with those pictures? I don't know. But when you're running for election next year, they should make very nice posters. And the newspapers would love to get them. <laughs> Joni! I hope you're satisfied. You held me while she kissed me. You made me wear a dressing gown. That'll look good. You even took the pictures for her. Brad, maybe the camera was no good. Brand new. Uh, well, maybe there was no film in it. Loaded it myself. Or oh, maybe there wasn't enough light. High-speed film. And Millie should be here any minute with the developed pictures. Joan, if those pictures are used, oh, and I am the them. real... Oh, you he, made, he, did you get them? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Just one picture? Well, what do you think of stupid me? I forgot to turn the film after each snapshot. Look. Oh, it's awful. Such <laughs> photography. I... Oh, oh, this is very interesting. Very interesting. What's the title of it? Life in a Bowl of Oatmeal? <laughs> Come on, Millie, get out. Well, it wasn't my fault. You I know how important this was to me? <laughs> well, Joni, oh, I hope we never have to go through anything like that again. I'm never going to have the faintest suspicion of you again, no matter how bad it looks. Oh, good. Uh, I'll get it. Hello? Judge Stevens, I think we'd better give up on McGillner. I don't think he's coming back tonight. Uh, forget about it. Anyway, my wife is home. Goodbye, Ann. Ann? Who's Ann? Bradley J. Stevens. Uh, no, 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 Joan. That I fell now, listen, for you promised, you promised, Joan. No, 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 I know, I know. You Joan, we go. We can't go. No, no, Bradley, Joan, you don't pick your Thank mm -hmm. you.